In this chapter, we are going to learn how to configure Vault to enable the new standard file workflow. Leverage options like auto numbering or enforced user input. Auto select numbering schemes per category. And implement input constraints for properties. This workflow video shows how we use the new standard file command. Navigate to the target folder where a new file record should create. Select the command new standard file from toolbar. Select office category and document type office document. Let's create a word document template. Name it tutorial document. Author yourself, subject, tutorial, and lastly, the title, Vault Data Standard. Click OK. The new document is a blank copy of the selected template, but got new property values. Exercise 1. Configure VDS documents and templates. The new standard file command requires file templates managed in Vault. Companies may have many template files or even specific ones for different departments and persona. In this example, we are going to implement a document type named Engineering Calculation. We have already imported the Calculations folder alongside all training files, so we omit step 1. In step 2, we need to register the new folder as document type in the Vault Data Standard configuration. To do this, we need to copy both file XML and file XML to the customization path. Select both files. Copy them. Open Vault Custom, Configuration, and paste them into place. Open file XML in your Vault custom folder. Each document type is represented by a node with two elements, type, display name and path. Select document type info, copy and paste it. We need to change the document name. Type engineering calculation. Enter the path. Templates dash calculations. Save the file. Now open the file XML. In find, type file.xml. We need to change the path for the file XML. Change it to customization folder. Save the file, and we're all set. Now, as you create a new standard file, you'll be able to see the new document type engineering calculation. Exercise 2. Enable numbering. In this example, we will enable the sequential numbering scheme. Go to define custom numbering schemes. Activate the sequential numbering scheme and make it default. Close the windows. As you create a new start file, the numbering scheme is automatically aligned to the category. Exercise 3. Enable numbering per category. Data standard allows to auto-select a numbering scheme linked to the category selection. To bind numbering schemes and categories, the names of both need to match. We create new numbering schemes engineering and office in this exercise. Open Vault Settings, Behaviors, Define Numbering Schemes. Create two numbering schemes, engineering and office.
As you create a new file, the numbering scheme is automatically selected. Exercise 4. Enforce title property value. Vault property behavior settings may enforce values and other constraints in general or per category. This exercise applies the restriction override requires value to the title property for office category files only. Open properties. Order by property name. Press T to easily find the title property. Let's edit the title. Find the office in category values. Put the requires value to true and overwrite to yes. Click OK. Close the window. And now, as you create a new standard file, when you select the category office, the title value is enforced. In comparison, you can create a file with non compliant metadata in Vanilla Vault, but Vault Data Standard does not allow you to create a file with non compliant metadata. More information and insights for programmers are available in the training chapter files.